to, there's nothing to argue that the viaduct that did get built is a convenience. It's very convenient if you're coming in from the east. But I think the question that's always been in my mind was, is that convenience really the top priority? Is that the best possible thing for our city to have a little bit of convenience uh, coming in from the east end? And now we know that a lot of people didn't necessarily see it was a big convenience, that the use of the viaduct is actually going down uh, over time and certainly went down when people had motivations for other kinds of behavior. What we don't get to talk about very much is that the viaducts also, however, represent some significant liabilities to our urban system. The fact is that they separate areas and activities. Uh, they, they can't play the kind of role of integrating things and in, in action and activities that a, that a traditional boulevard uh, can do. Uh, the, they, they really make it hard to have a relationship between the upper escarpment of the downtown and the lower area around False Creek. They cut Chinatown and Gastown off from the water. Uh, they do a lot of negative things, but maybe the biggest liability has to do with land. They sprawl over huge amounts of land. Now, maybe back in the 60s and 70s, that was okay. Who cared? You know, that was not much of any place to be, but now we do care. Land is probably our single most valuable commodity. And we have to ask ourselves, do we want to use all of that land to just have those movements for those few thousand people when they could have alternative ways to get out of town? And so what does all this mean? What all it means to me is what the city council has done is a very intelligent thing, which is to start talking about this. And I, you know, we have to acknowledge Councillor Jeff Meggs and his pushing of this issue. It would not really have come to the fore. It wasn't one of the pivotal issues of our time uh, unless uh, someone like Jeff uh, came uh, to council and started pushing it. And I think that's a very strong leadership. This change in attitude, which is here, must be treasured, it must be supported, no matter what happens politically. What this engineering department is talking about today is fundamental, and it's a fundamental positive change, I think, for the future of our city, and it says something about where the whole culture of this city has been at. I would make two simple recommendations to the city council, building on the leadership that they've already shown, and building on the great work of the engineering department so far. The first recommendation I would make is simply make a decision right now, a bold decision, that we're getting rid of the viaducts. Just make that decision so that we can then move on to the other The second thing I would say, make another bold decision, and that is to convene a great urban design competition among all the people of the world to come up with some truly great designs for the future of the eastern part of the core. Let's include people from everywhere. Let's have really big ideas come to the table. Uh, let's really decide again that we are going to take Jagular's advice and we're going to design our city.